Hello, my name is Devin and welcome to Module 2, A Relational Approach to Sustainable Cities. Let's begin with what is meant by a relational approach. It's all the rage these days and essentially it means that you can't understand what any one thing is without looking at how it's situated in relations with other things. In relational philosophy, they claim that there are no discrete entities that exist outside of networked relationships with others. In relational physics, space doesn't exist without objects in it, and time doesn't exist without events. Hobart takes the relational approach to look at cities and urban governance. This means that we think about cities as situated and partly defined by their relationships with other places and people that are not geographically located in the city. So an example might be competitions between cities, in which how a city thinks about itself, how it identifies, is impacted by how it is situated in relation to another city it competes with. The first text for today uh, is from your lecturer and it lays out three different perspectives for looking at where urban governance happens. The first one is the vertical, in which higher institutions such as the EU uh, make decisions that impact city governance. In the horizontal perspective, you look at how cities are networked with each other. And in the infrastructure perspective, you look at how the built environment, the materiality of the city, impacts its governance. In the second text, you look at policy tourism, and specifically a delegation from South Africa visiting South America to learn about bus rapid transit systems, or BRT. BRT is a buzzword in mobility studies, and for good reason. Later this week, you'll be looking at a TED talk from the former mayor of Bogota, who pioneered BRT. Finally, in your workshop, you will be looking at different city networks and paying attention to who the members are, what its goals are, how it operates, and how effective it is in creating sustainability transitions. So I hope you enjoy the module for today, and until next time.